Hi everyone, I'm Mark. It is my pleasure to join the EE poster competition and I make a video. Please take a look. I'm going to introduce what is low dropout voltage regulator LDO. LDO is able to provide very stable voltage during the change of loading current. For example, sometimes the next stage circuit may draw some current from LDO, for example, maybe 100 mA ampere, or suddenly it will drop to 0 mini ampere. In the graph, you may think about in this way, suddenly so increase to 100 mini ampere, and suddenly so drop to 0 mini ampere. And the responsibility of low dropout voltage regulator is try to maintain the voltage as stable as possible. You may think this way. To have better performance of LDO, LDO should respond this way. LDO should have smaller magnitude for both undershoot and overshoot. And here, the settling time should also be smaller. But how could we improve the performance of LDO? As I mentioned in the poster, there are three main features about my final year project. The first one is dynamic passing. The second one is voltage spike detection. And the third one is slow rate enhancement. Due to the time limitation of the video, so the video will focus on dynamic biasing and voltage spike detection. I would like to introduce a technique called dynamic biasing. If I inject one microampere to the LDO, the performance of LDO should be intermediate. If I increase to 10 microampere, the performance should be improved. Both the magnitude and the settling time should be smaller. But of course, if I use more current, that means my power consumption will be also increased. Therefore, dynamic biasing could solve this problem. In steady state, the biasing current is only 1 microampere. At transient instant, it will increase to 10 microampere and will back to 1 microampere in steady state and it will rise to 10 microampere at transient instant and back to 1 microampere in steady state. And the overall quotient current consumption should be 1 microampere because most of the time the passing current is 1 microampere and this technique could use less current or power consumption to improve the performance of LDO. But the problem is how to detect the voltage and inject the current at overshoot and undershoot. To detect the voltage spike, the most common way is RC coupling. RC coupling actually is just a high pass filter. If undersuit occur or oversuit occur, it will also couple to another side. If just a DC voltage, it cannot pass through. Therefore, it can detect the undersuit or oversuit. But my final year project want to try something new. Therefore, I use hysteretic comparator. If the output of LDO is lower the first hole, reload, it will trigger one of the comparator and generate a well-to-well -well signal. If the output is higher, the first hole we high here. It will trigger another comparator and generate another well-to-well -well impulse. These two impulses are the commanders to enable dynamic passing circuit and the slow enhancement circuit. I'm sorry that because of the time limitation, it may be a little bit rushed. I hope that I could further elaborate my ideas in the presentation and I hope you will like it. Thank you so much. Bye bye.